Good morning and welcome to the benefits of uh, Canterbury in England, St Dunstan, St Mildred and St Peter, where you join us for our service of morning prayer in the Easter season on Wednesday the 3rd of May 2023. My name is John Morrison and I'm standing in for our rector, the Reverend Joe Richards, and our curate, the Reverend Jenny Walpole. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. In your resurrection, O Christ, let heaven and earth rejoice. Alleluia. Blessed are you, Lord God of our salvation. To you be praise and glory for ever. As once you ransomed your people from Egypt and led them to freedom in the promised land, so now you have delivered us from the dominion of darkness and brought us into the kingdom of your risen Son. May we, the first fruits of your new creation, rejoice in this new day you have made and praise you for your mighty acts. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed for us, so let us celebrate the feast, not with the old leaven of corruption and wickedness, but with the unleavened bread of sincerity and truth. Christ, once raised from the dead, dies no more. Death has no more dominion over him. In dying, he died to sin once for all. In living, he lives to God. See yourselves, therefore, as dead to sin and alive to God in Jesus Christ our Lord. Christ has been raised from the dead, the first fruits of those who sleep. For as by man came death, by man has come also the resurrection of the dead. For as in Adam all die, even so in Christ shall all be made alive. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. The refrain for Psalm 135, starting at the first verse, is Praise the Lord, for the Lord is good. Praise the Lord, for the Lord is good. Alleluia. Praise the name of the Lord. Give praise, you servants of the Lord, you that stand in the house of the Lord, in the courts of the house of the Lord. Praise the Lord, for the Lord is good. Make music to his name, for it is lovely. For the Lord has chosen Jacob for himself and Israel for his own possession. Praise the Lord, for the Lord is good. For I know that the Lord is great and that our Lord is above all gods. The Lord does whatever he pleases in heaven and on earth, in the seas and in all the deeps. He brings up the clouds from the ends of the earth. He makes lightning with rain and brings the winds out of his treasures. Praise the Lord, for the Lord is good. He smote the firstborn of Egypt, the firstborn of man and beast. He sent signs and wonders into your midst, O Egypt, upon Pharaoh, 
and all his servants. He smote many nations and slew mighty kings, Sihon, king of the Amorites, and Og, the king of Bashan, and all the kingdoms of Canaan. He gave their land as a heritage for Israel and its people. Praise the Lord, for the Lord is good. Your name, O Lord, endures forever and shall be remembered through all generations. For the Lord will vindicate his people and have compassion on his servants. Praise the Lord, for the Lord is good. The idols of the nations are but silver and gold, the work of human hands. They have mouths, but they cannot speak. Eyes have they, but cannot see. They have ears, but cannot hear. Neither is there any breath in their mouths. Those who make them shall become like them, and so will all who put their trust in them. Praise the Lord, for the Lord is good. Bless the Lord, O house of Israel. O house of Aaron, bless the Lord. Bless the Lord, O house of Levi, you who fear the Lord, bless the Lord. Blessed be the Lord from Zion, who dwells in Jerusalem. Alleluia. Praise the Lord, for the Lord is good. Wise and gracious God, save us from the idols of our hearts and keep us in your living presence that we may become a people for your praise. In Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Our first scripture reading this morning is from the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 10 starting at the 12th verse to the end. So now, O Israel, what does the Lord your God require of you? Only to fear the Lord your God, to walk in all his ways, to love him, to serve the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul, and to keep the commandments of the Lord your God and his decrees, that I am commanding you today for your own well-being. Although heaven and the heaven of heavens belong to the Lord your God, the earth with all that is in it, yet the Lord set his heart in love on your ancestors alone and chose you, their descendants after them, out of all the peoples as it is today. Circumcise, then, the foreskin of your heart, and do not be stubborn any longer. For the Lord your God is God of gods and Lord of lords, the great God, mighty and awesome, who is not partial and takes no bribe, who executes justice for the orphan and the widow, and who loves the strangers, providing them with food and clothing, you shall also love the stranger. For you were strangers in the land of Egypt. You shall fear the Lord your God. Him alone you shall worship. To him you shall hold fast. And by his name you shall swear. He is your praise. He is your God. Who has done for you these great and awesome things that your own eyes have seen. Your ancestors went down to Egypt, 70 persons, and now the Lord your God has made you as numerous as the stars in heaven. The Song of Moses and Miriam. In your unfailing love, O Lord, you lead the people whom you have redeemed. Alleluia. 
I will sing to the Lord who has triumphed gloriously. The horse and his rider he has thrown into the sea. The Lord is my strength and my song and has become my salvation. This is my God whom I will praise, the God of my forebears whom I will exalt. The Lord is a warrior. The Lord is his name. Your right hand, O Lord, is glorious in power. Your right hand, O Lord, shatters the enemy. At the blast of your nostrils, the sea covered them. They sank as lead in the mighty waters. In your unfailing love, O Lord, you lead the people whom you have redeemed. And by your invincible strength, you will guide them to your holy dwelling. You will bring them in and plant them, O Lord, in the sanctuary which your hands have established. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. In your unfailing love, O Lord, you lead the people whom you have redeemed. Alleluia. Our second reading is the letter to the Ephesians, chapter 5, verses 1 to 14. Therefore be imitators of God as beloved children and live in love as Christ loved us and gave himself up for us, a fragrant offering and sacrifice to God. But fornication and impurity of any kind or greed must not even be mentioned among you, as is proper among saints. Entirely out of place is obscene, silly and vulgar talk. But instead, let there be thanksgiving. Be sure of this, that no fornicator or impure person, or one who is greedy, that is, an adulterer, has any inheritance in the kingdom of Christ and of God. Let no one deceive you with empty words, for because of these things the wrath of God has come upon those who are disobedient. Therefore do not be associated with them, for once you were in darkness, but how in the Lord you are light. Live as children of light, for the fruit of the light is found in all that is good and right and true. Try to find out what is pleasing to the Lord. Take no part in the unfruitful works of darkness, but instead expose them. For it is everything, and it is shameful, even to mention that such people, what such people do secretly. But everything exposed by the light becomes visible, for everything that becomes visible is light. Therefore it says, Sleeper, awake, rise from the dead, and Christ will shine on you. Death is swallowed up in victory. Where, O oh, death, is your sting? Christ is risen from the dead, the first fruits of those who have fallen asleep. Death is swallowed up in victory. The trumpet will sound, and the dead shall be raised. Where, O oh, death, is your sting? We shall not all sleep, but we shall be cha changed. Death is swallowed up in victory, where, O oh, death, is your sting. Our Gospel canticle this morning is the Benedictus, the Song of Zechariah. The Lord is risen from the tomb, who for our sakes hung upon the tree. Alleluia. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, who has come to his people, and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, God promised of old to save us from our enemies, 
from the hands of all that hate us, to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. A new child shall be called the prophet of the Most High. For you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins in the tender compassion of our God. The dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness in the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. The Lord is risen from the tomb, who for our sakes hung on the tree. Alleluia. Let us pray. We thank you, gracious God, for this new day and all that we are about. We pray earnestly for our broken world and its many needs. And we pray of the unity of the church and the effectiveness of her life in the community. We pray for all the people of God that they may proclaim the risen Lord. We pray for, our cre for your creation, the creation of God, so that the peoples of the earth meet their responsibility to care. Pray for all those who this morning are in despair and darkness, that they may find the hope and light of Christ. We pray for those who fear the onset of death, that they may find faith through the resurrection. And we're asked especially to pray for all prisoners and captives. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Almighty God, whose Son Jesus Christ is the resurrection and the life, raise us who trust in him from the death of sin to the life of the righteous, that we may seek those things which are above, where he reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Rejoicing in God's new creation, let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory for ever and ever. Amen. May the risen Christ grant us the joys of eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. Thank you for joining us for our morning prayer this morning. We will be back with you this evening for night prayer at six o'clock. And my colleagues will join you again for another service of Benefits Morning Prayer 
at nine o'clock tomorrow, Thursday. Have a lovely day. Bye for now.